Hey everybody, Gunman66 here. Um, got this really cool video today I want to do. I mean, it's been really nice and I've just been itching to get out there and shoot. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it. It's beautiful out there today. So I had these uh, wolf shells and I shot them. I didn't like them. I, I kind of thought that uh, wolf really sucked. Um, let me show you why I didn't like it. So here it is. And you can see. It's got a um, little lead soft point, soft tip. So you see the um, the primer there. Well, that that primer, my gun would strike that primer and dent that primer, but the bullet would not go off. And then, of course, you have to pull it out and then put it back in and shoot it again. The second time, it would go off. Now, if you're deer hunting, that's not a situation that you want to have happen with these uh, wolf ammo, you pull the trigger, click, nothing happens, the deer's gone. So I'm not impressed with this wolf ammo. But then again, I'm not going to ever use steel case ammo to hunt with. I'll get, uh, you know, some quality ammo. I got piles of ammo right here on my floor. I got Winchester, I got Federal, I got Remington. You name it. So I got plenty of 308. That is a decent bullet. But, however, today I also have this Red Army. Red Army. Probably from Russia. I'm sure Wolf is from Russia too. So we're going to go outside today. We're going to shoot this Red Army. Because I've never shot it before. And we're going to see if it even works. This stuff is pretty much the same as that uh, wolf to steel case. Um, the only difference is this one is a full metal jacket as you can see, but it is still a steel case. So this, of course, is just for plinking, having fun. I will never use this to hunt with either. Let's go outside, get out on the range and see what happens with these things. Oh, you know what? I wanted to tell you guys. I, I promised for my 100 subscribers I was going to send out a special uh, prize. Okay, so this is my prize. I have taken this gun. I don't know if you can see it good or not, but I traced out one of my guns on a board and then I cut it out. Now I still have to sand this down it's got some rough spots on it but I will sand it down then you take the rubber band here you put the rubber band on the end of it this is just gonna be real quick because I'm not gonna okay then you run the rubber band down here I'm going to have a clothespin glued right here so you can put the rubber band in the clothespin give it to your little kid your little kid has a has a rifle this is freaking awesome. So my hundredth um, subscriber, I have taken account, um, put names in a hat, so to speak. The person that is going to win this is Poinsetta13. So Poinsetta13, be looking for this gun. Uh, wouldn't it? going to be a lot of fun for your little kid or grandkids or whatever you have. So let's go out on the range and get to shooting. Okay, before we get to shooting, I want to show you guys my new shed here I built. This thing is freaking awesome. And you know the really cool thing about this is, let's say it's raining outside and I want to come out and shoot then I can just come on inside this little shed here, which we'll do. Can set up my target. And look! I don't know if you can see that. Ah, oh, there we go. Got a... I could shoot that caboose right there. <laughs> Alright, so I wouldn't shoot that caboose. But, 
we're inside my my new shed here what i what i'm using this for here actually is uh i got my jet ski trailer parked in here with a couple of jet skis on it keep them out of the sun keep them nice so i can go ride okay now i got you guys zoomed in really really close about as close as about as far on the zoom as i can get because i want you guys to be able to see these cans and jugs when i shoot them hopefully this ammo works I don't know, we're gonna find out, but like I said, it's full metal jacket. So I got a whole bunch of cans and a whole bunch of bottles set up. We're gonna see what happens. Now I'm gonna have to get back here a little ways behind the camera and hopefully it works. Put down my sunglasses, can't forget that. All right, let's see what happens. That's my peacock, by the way. Looks like it worked good. Now let's do that water jug. Oh yeah. You know what? I have got another shell. I'm shooting them again. All right. Now, sounds like the chickens aren't too happy about that. Let's go uh, see what we did. All right, well, it looks like we blew the hell out of the water jugs anyway. Let's uh, look here, get my shadow in the way. Holy moly. Tore that one up. I can see a little bullet hole right there. Let's see what happened here. Now I can see over here the little bullet hole right there. It went in and split it out pretty good though. The back of it. And then here's this one. Looks like it got that one pretty good too. Huh. And the water cans Looks like we uh, <laughs> got them pretty good. Look at this one. That one was the one that was in the front. Just laid that baby right open. And that one there, not a lot of damage. But you know what? I got some more water cans left. We're gonna shoot one more time. Okay, one more shot on those cans, because I got one more bullet. Now here we go. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and see, there you go. You see that? Click. And it dented the primer. I don't know if you guys can see this. Kind of makes me mad. But... I'm gonna try to show you. There's the primer. I don't even know where my camera thing is looking at. Woo! -hoo. Anyway, dented the primer. Didn't go off. I'm gonna shoot it again. See if it'll uh, go off this time. Well, I think it went off the second time, but I think I missed the cans. I seen some paper blow off. All right, well, I gotta tell you guys something. That was a super fun video today. Look at this guy, man. Gorgeous out there today. So, 
with that being said you guys get out there have a great day congratulations to poinsettia 13 on the 100 subscriber giveaway thank you everybody for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button really appreciate all you guys you have a great day we'll see you next time